It's Wednesday, December 12th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, drivers are advised to prepare for more winter weather conditions and possible delays when traveling to and from the interior for the remainder of the week. A travel advisory has been issued for the Hope to Merritt stretch of the Coquihalla Highway with up to 30 centimeters of snow expected by the end of Wednesday. Heavy waves of snow could follow that current storm. A mandatory chain up is in effect for commercial vehicle operators. Any valley precipitation is expected in the form of rain. It's the busiest time of the year for travelers at Kelowna International Airport. Castanets Alana Kelly talked with airport manager Sam Samadar about the upcoming Christmas travel season. What I'm saying is, is give yourself plenty of time and plan ahead. Uh, the key is getting to the airport is we have limited parking. It's going to be at capacity. There's no doubt about that. Right. And so if you can find an alternative uh, way of getting to the airport, have a friend drop you off, take a cab, uh, shuttle bus, uh, that would be great. And uh, when is the busiest day or is there a time period that's the most busy? Well, leading over the next uh, three weeks, we're expecting over 100,000 passengers uh, to come through the airport. Wow. And so if you're traveling on a Friday or a Monday, uh, expect uh, peak, peak loads uh, on those days over the next three weeks. The man on bail for a fatal shooting at a Penticton apartment complex last year is being hunted by police. An unendorsed warrant was issued Wednesday morning for the arrest of 37-year-old Sylvain Demers after he failed to show up for court. Demers is facing one count of manslaughter using a firearm in the shooting death of Ronald Toes on April 26th of last year. Eviction notices have been served and now the cleanup process is underway for three homeless camps along Highway 97 at the north end of Vernon. The Ministry of Transportation notified some of the campers of its intentions to evict them off the ministry's property back in early November. However, on Monday, a new notice was issued that stated the campers must remove all possessions and personal property by 4 p.m. Tuesday. Items not removed would be taken at the owner's expense. The first ever province-wide homeless account report found almost 8,000 people homeless in our province. And Indigenous peoples and former children in care are significantly overrepresented. According to the report, which brings together statistics from 24 communities over the past 24 months, at least 7,655 people are experiencing homelessness across a broad demographic of individuals, families, youth and seniors. Vaughn Oliver's mother has always known that her son was talented, but even she never expected that he would make it all the way to a Grammy nomination. 38-year-old Oliver is a music producer and DJ born and raised in Penticton who has just been nominated in the Best Engineered Album Non-Classical category for the upcoming 2019 Grammys. In February, for his work on Canadian electro-funk group Chromeo's Head Over Heels album. A geotechnical team is trying to determine the extent of instability of a section of slope along Powers Creek in West Kelowna. Pictures of the slope sent to cast and that show significant slippage just before or below a neighborhood on Weber Road. The city says affected residents have been notified, but at the present time, no evacuation orders or alerts have been issued. The problem was first noticed by BC Hydro crews back in October. A recent WestJet flight from Kelowna to Edmonton required visual confirmation from the ground that its landing gear was down following a malfunction. The WestJet Encore de Havilland Dash 8400 was en route to Edmonton on November 29th when the crew received a landing gear inoperative indication. That according to Aeroside or AeroInside.com, the plane with 24 passengers and four crew landed safely. Lumbee's council and mayor have voted themselves a 26% pay raise, but it's not as generous as it seems. Mayor Keith Acton said new federal regulations will take away about one-third of a councillor and mayor's wages. Acton said Lumbee's civic leaders will also not, or have also not had a raise in 10 years, so it was decided to provide a wage increase and deal with the federal changes all at the same time. 
And British Prime Minister Theresa May survived a brush with political mortality Wednesday, winning a no-confidence vote by Conservative lawmakers that would have ended her leadership of the party and the country. May won the vote of 317 Conservative legislators with a 200 to 117 tally that reflected the discontent within the party over her handling of Britain's exit from the European Union. Despite the victory, Brexit remains her government's biggest problem. Okanagan weather, cloud showers expected to begin Wednesday evening. Rain forecast through the end of the week, highs to six, lows to plus two. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, it's budget day in Kelowna Thursday and tourism for all four seasons. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.